All right, we're back, round three. As you can see, I'm already down on the clock again. Uh, but I had to take a break after that last game. That game was nuts. Um, mole here. We'll keep. Maybe we'll draw into something. Um, hopefully, either I'll get my face beating quickly and time won't be a factor on this game, or maybe I'll do the beating. Uh, but, yeah. That was, uh... Ugh, that was nerve-wracking, to say the least. <laughs> And we rip a white just like that. Uh, let's get this guy down. Everyone I've played has played white today. So as much white as I saw and took, so did everyone else. Okay, so no, no follow-up. And everyone's played green almost. Yep. Okay, so we curved out pretty well. We need another land. We can get a moss dog down. And we can start getting our uh, scout going. Let's see what he's got here. I, I don't drink and I don't smoke. Um, so I went and made a cup of coffee. For a second. And that might sound counterproductive, but coffee chills me out, so... Because my opponent's stuck on something. He's probably got a sweet four drop. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get in. Because I'm going to drop Moss Dog. I was thinking of not getting in. And uh, uh, scouting at the end of the turn. But since we have a four drop, might as well just get, get our four drops in. If you play something that gets in the way of, all of my team, I can always scout for a... Uh, pacifism and and put it on him since I've learned that okay we're playing three colors here I don't know how well a multi multicolor deck plays in this format I mean obviously I'm splashing a card and he might be doing the same but hmm we'll see we'll see what we get here actually I can swing here so yeah yeah we'll just we'll just swing with our uh, dude he might have a pump spell maybe I don't know I doubt it. I think here, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and drop. If we got spells, we're gonna play them. I'd really like to get this guy uh, on board, but then you know, next turn, you know, passive put a pacifism on that is just horrible, and this is kind of like a pacifism for it. Yeah. And then if we draw a land, then we can just like suit up our team and go. Um, this deck is playing like a white green beatdown deck now, um, opposed to what it I think I think is. I mean, I guess it's kind of a faster deck, but man, you talk about board stalls. Last game was proof of that. So hopefully we either win quickly, lose quickly, or um, only go to only have two games. I'm not ready for another nerve wracking. Okay, so what does this do? Does this do anything right now? It does nothing right now, so we're just going to go ahead and swing, I think. Hmm. Let's keep swinging with the Moss Dog, I think. Because if he's holding back a trick, then we want to be able to, you know, not lose, like, a bunch of our dues. You know, if, if, I'd hate for him to, I'd hate to run this into... Okay, he's got something. Okay, Bonnie Beam is a solid card. Definitely a reason to go into white, so that kind of helps. We're not going to swing now, obviously. If he wants to swing back, he's going to hit me for one, and then I'm going to... I can probably pacifism his six drop, which will help a lot. Exile another permanent. So yeah, okay. Exile another permanent. Yeah. Uh, let's see what he pops here. Pops the scout, and I'll just go. I'll use it to get the other scout. Four four isn't that big of a deal. I'd like to draw another land here. This will be interesting to see what he picks. He picks.
fix this, then I'll, yeah. Which that I'm not too worried about. We'll go ahead and give that one, two. I don't think that was his best play. We're going to go ahead and get our unblockable guy here, I think. I'm not ready to, uh, Um, I'm not ready to, what you call it, uh, pacifism. I would like, okay, let's go ahead and swing. In for two. I'm going to take a little hit here. Um, but I think we just drop him. I mean, Hitting me from 7 down to 13 is fine, when I've got an, but I've got an unblockable, and he's down to 9 already. And if I get this going, that'd be sweet. Um, you know, if he tries to pacifism something, uh, I can flicker wisp it. Uh, he puts something big in the way, I can flicker wisp it. So. Oof. When it dies, okay. So that is going to get pacifismed for sure. Um, hmm. I have a bad feeling he's going to do something to kill this. Maybe he doesn't have a sack effect. Yeah, I think what we're going to do is just go. Uh, let's see. You get a one one. You get a two two, and you get a three three. So yeah. I can get in, put him on clock. Okay. Yep. Wait, oh yeah, okay. So let's hit for five. Put them on two turn clock. I'm not gonna let's see, make sure I read this right. White or artifact creature, okay. You're tapped out, you can't make tart creature white. So I like the board state here. I mean, he can swing for five in the air, play another blinding beam, which would kind of kind of wreck me a little bit. Um, but I can always fish a, pass, fat, uh, a pacifism out. Um, oh, he's got something big here. Okay, so he's gonna bounce my dude. That's fine. He's gonna bounce him, which is cool. Uh, okay. If he tags with anything, he's He's ridiculous, but he might attack with the star, the dragon. So the plan here is if he attacks with a couple things, and he attacks here and here maybe. I'm gonna take it, flicker wisp, something, or if he attacks with just like this guy. Yeah, okay, maybe I can flicker wisp this, swing with the team, and he blocks my two biggest guys. Mm. This will be interesting to see. He's definitely in the tank. So, I want to pause it. Alright. Well, I do that every time. Opponent is side there, which is smart, I think. Smart play. Um, so, one, two, three. I can play both of those guys past the turn. Or I can end a turn, hit this, then flicker with something. If I don't play this, though, it's kind of apparent that I've got a trick. Um. Uh, yeah, I think just getting this guy down. I mean, I'm gonna go ahead and play in this guy. <laughs> I was was that anything but twenty? I mean, this still puts them on a two turn clock. Um, that guy alone. If he follows it up with a giant play again, then we might be in trouble. But th this this card is really strong. This guy picked the right cards. I see a lot of these wheel, a lot of these wheel. Uh, I don't see any of those wheel, but um. 
this is if you're going to play red I mean uh, uh green blue or maybe splashing blue or I'm not sure what's or splashing white that's the way you do it here <laughs> green blue is so light on removal um so it's hard to play them straight up but having stuff like this is is you know splashing is a good idea you almost have to play three colors for sure when you play blue green he's thinking about his attacks and pause it while he thinks all right opponent is back tapping mana looking for maybe a blinding beam i'm assuming he's going to get it he can't or can he entwine it he can okay so that's fine He's going to use it, obviously. Mm, he's going to wait for my turn. Okay. Um. Sure. There's a forest. So let's get to our attacks here. See what he does. the blinding beam. Those two. Okay. And they don't untap next turn, which is, well, I guess they do untap next turn because he did it on, let's see, uh, turn that player's next untap step. So those will not untap along with anything else I tap. Um, yeah, I think, I think I just play Flicker Wisp here. I hate to show it to him, but I'm just going to flicker that, speed up my clock a little bit. Gives me another attacker. Um, gives me three in the air. You know, I can, again, always go get pacifism with Amaru Scout. Got a Woodfall Primus or something crazy. Did he open one too? Okay, that's that's fine. I'm gonna kill him this turn, I believe. Cause he's not gonna have yeah. Unless he's got a trick, unless he's got echoing truth, which would be stupid. <laughs> Is he really thinking about attacking? It's very possible he has echoing truth. We saw one. Uh, we passed one for sure. <clears throat> so we gave we gave my opponent a five minute head start and we're catching back up. Okay, okay, that's beautiful. Tapping out, that should be game time. So we're gonna go ahead and do this now. So we're not gonna need. Oh, wait, okay, never mind. We can't use it now. Yeah, let's just do it now. One. Swing with Flicker Wisp and Unblockable. Sweet. Yeah, that came close. Okay, obviously we do not want to get into a long game with this guy. He's got a ton of stuff. He's got Eternal Witness to bring stuff back. <sighs> this guy haunting me. Um, no one played a red. I don't see anyone play a red card. <laughs> Uh, he has two twos, things like that. Do we have anything? He has a three two. Um, that guy's good. I don't want to take him out. Um, this guy's obviously good. That guy's good. I was just trying to figure out a way to maybe get this guy in or this guy in, but I still like this. I think over the Kami. It's just a better trick. I think if I would go back and rebuild this deck, I would I would build it like this. Uh, hmm. I'm not gonna have that much life. So yeah, we'll, we'll run this. Opponent is still here, so as he builds, I will pause. All right, we're back. Instantaneous for you. The trip was instantaneous as far as you're concerned. Um, he's gonna play first. I've got a dragon fixing 
my swamp, my blow upper. No. A lot of people play this like turn one. Uh, I'm not that person because then it's just so much easier for your opponent to play around it. It's a lot easier not to play on turn one if you're playing black um, because you can uh, basically for three mana you can get it out there. But which might have been a reason to play two black sources, but whatever. I'm not doing that. Um, okay, so you just drew the Thalid. Get green for here. He hasn't seen the black yet either, so it's good. Oh, Flicker Wisp is nice. Yep. Oh, gosh. Flicker Wisp, eh? Does it say dies? Okay. It doesn't say leave the battlefield. That would have been horribly good. Used to say, I think, is put into the graveyard or something. That used to be some of the old. Okay, he might have a trick here, which would kind of suck. Um, so we're not going to play this first. We're going to just swing. If he doesn't have a trick, that's awesome. Get him for two. Sweet. And then next turn we have this guy alive. We've got, we can drop this down. He is cycling again. He's going to go get a, yep. So he can make a dude now. And he can, oh wait, he cannot make a dude. Okay, so if he doesn't play anything here. What's he got? Oof. Uh, well that thing, his uh, morning star, or his uh, tide star, or whatever, cannot die to it, so. Uh, yep. Let's go ahead and play it. I'm gonna blow that thing up. Hopefully, it doesn't kill this guy. But we're still looking good. Let's see, we got four. So next turn, we can play Flicker Wisp if we need to. We're gonna get hit for five here. It's gonna suck. I'd much much rather blow this thing up than go get uh pacifism for it and then him play his dragon and can't use this. So yeah, we're just going to take take a bump on the head here, unfortunately. Mm, that's pretty sick too. Let's see. Now I've got a few things to think about now. We can play Moss Dog. Double block this guy. Take four. Blow him up. Hmm. What does this do? Put a. Let's see, creatures. Okay, so he's got two. So you can get two guys next turn. Uh, we can play Flicker Wisp, which is just horrible. And race. I think I'm not ready to blow up. If we had a three drop that wasn't flicker wisp, it'd be really good. So I think we just do this here. He can't kill both. If he attacks here, we can like double block here, take four. He can't kill both of our dudes. Well, actually he can uh, if he does it right. Um, if he kills this guy and not this guy, well, yeah, he can do two and three, and they both die still. But that, that's fine. I'm. He's getting low cards in hand. I've got to get this guy off the board. I'd rather Executioner's Capsule this guy and just double block and, and uh, get rid of his imp uh, Imperial Sword that way. And try not to leave game three if it goes to that with five minutes left. Also, next turn we can just play uh, Morningstar if, so, if we so choose. So... We'll see. It makes his attacks a little more difficult. I mean, I could have just blown that up. He would have, you know, then he would just get in for four and then constantly be making dudes. Which might have been just a better play because then next turn for sure I would play uh, my dragon and, uh, you know, put him on a uh, basically, a, you know, four turn clock, probably less. But he's definitely thinking about his next play. Think about his 
attacks. He might have a pump spell, maybe. I mean, Echo Encourage is a thing. He might have Blinding Beam. You might be thinking about, about that. I just get no attacks from him. That's probably what I prefer, but... Okay, so he's going to kill both of my dudes. I'm going to get to four. Yep, I think that's the best scenario. Greater Moss Dog is, is a creature that you don't mind throwing in front of a lot of things because you always feel like, well, I can just get him back if I need to, if, if the worst case scenario, but seems like he might have a trick here, and I, I don't doubt it, but I just couldn't take nine down to six, especially when we got a couple things here. Uh, yeah, we'll see what we got, what we can do here. He's definitely thinking now, again. Or he's double queued. So next turn, this is going to have two on it, and and he can already make another guy. So I've got to kill this this turn, this next turn, uh, putting Morning Star back a turn. But he's going to be without this. He might have Eternal Witness, maybe. Maybe he's going to play this, kill it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He does have Echoing Courage, or does he have the gain? He's got another one of those. Okay. That's. Good, I guess. It's pretty decent. I'm glad I use it now. So now plans change a little bit. I do not want Moss Dog back. Because uh, now we got six mana. We really need to drop this guy down. Or we can blow this guy up, Pacifism, the other one, and hope he doesn't draw his dragon. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do this turn. <laughs> Uh, actually, we're going to do this. I don't know, he should in response make a dude, yep. I think also, maybe, 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 we'll see how he attacks. If he attacks with Thalid, I quite possibly block with his scout and in response pacifism that, maybe. Mm, I don't know, that's... It's a tough one. Yeah, I think... Okay, yeah. Yeah, I should have I should have done that first. I should have hit him with the... The pacifism first. But oh well. But I think getting rid of Thalid's decent. Um... We can get another scout, but yeah, we're just gonna have to like. Yeah. <sighs> Shouldn't have taken that attack. Um, but killing a salad's, I guess, pretty decent. Yeah. I guess he suspends that guy. Next turn, he gets in for at least two. Um, I get two guys down if I dredge and then. F uh, I think it might be better. Yeah, that was that was a bad, bad, bad uh, call on my behalf. Well, okay. So we just go ahead and one, two, three, four, get that guy down. Uh, I guess we could flicker one of his dudes. Yeah, I think that's the best. Yeah. That helps some. We can basically trade uh, the Nantuko Shaman and the Flicker Wisp. Uh, we did lose Wolfwald Primus and Tromp the Domain, so the only thing else we could have here is our like gain life thing, whatever that is. Uh, let's throw the pride. Yeah, that was a bad mistake um, to not use this pre-combat and just get hit with the. Uh, uh, Valid, because then I could save this guy and, and bounce. Yeah. So that's the game anyway. So anyway, yeah, that was that was a bad misplay on my behalf. So okay, so just don't make mistakes, and we could possibly win game three. Uh, what does second Trump do anything now? This guy, he's got blinding beam. This actually helps a lot with blinding beam. Uh, but what do we want to get rid of? Maybe 
see this guy? He didn't have any flyers. Like, he has zero flyers. So any flyers is basically evasive. This guy and any flyers is just so evasive. Uh, man, what to take out? And he does have suspend, guys, so that's good. I hate to take out Stir the Pride. I also have to take out inc Incremental Growth. Mm. Maybe the Shell Dweller? All his creatures I just basically kill. Um. Hmm. Yeah, like that. I'm just gonna take the shell dweller. Right? That might be bad. This guy makes dudes. This this person. This thing also makes dudes. Hmm. Don't know what to cut. I feel like I want to cut something up here, and it's not tromp the domains. Uh, but this is instant speed and it's really good. Incremental growth is super good too. Uh, I'm gonna take this out. It might be bad news, but it, but I want to be aggressive against his deck, and this is not an aggressive two drop. Um, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try this, and we are gonna play first. Uh, yeah, I like his hand. This hand works for sure. Especially on the play, so no no moles here. You got turn two uh, Amaru Scout into Kadoma's Reach into uh, Imperial Soar into Incremental Growth. You got Thalid, yep, figure that much, okay. Not too worried about that. Um, ooh, especially now. Um, now I'm very happy I kept incremental growth, <laughs> obviously. Um, I'm trying to figure out what land to get. I definitely want double green, obviously. But I'm trying to think two green to have Woodfall Prim Primus Mana up for sure, or if I want to get a green and a black to make sure when I draw. I think green and black. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I'm not gonna trade here because I this when I when I give it uh counters it'll be better. So I'm gonna go ooh, I might regret this, but I'm gonna go green black and put that in play. Um next turn so basically next turn I wanna play Imperial Soar. Turn after that I wanna play Meadow Boon if I don't have to use this. And then turn after that, hopefully incremental growth and giving a bunch of counters to a bunch of things. If he swings here, I'm just going to be bad. He doesn't swing, which is good news, meaning he doesn't have anything. So he saw the swamp, so I'm going to play that. One, two, three, four. And build up our board. He has Blinding Beam or something in a turn. I doubt he's going to use it for three mana. Yep. Blinding Beam is a is a beating. That card's so good. So he doesn't swing here. Yeah, he's probably got Blinding Beam. Um, he's also got the thing that gives him. Okay, so I don't really need this, but I don't need the mana yet, so. Hmm, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and swing here and see what happens. I'm a little nervous. The other thing is at one two. We could have the thing that gives it one two. Oh that cal's five. That's yeah, gonna put a dude in play in his chump. That I'm okay with. Yeah, that's fine. So I mean we'll just play this guy. Cast one, two. I'm gonna go ahead and crack this for a. I'm gonna get a planes. So if he doesn't have blinding beam next turn, I wish this was instant. That'd be really good. That'd be too good actually <laughs> for five mana. If he doesn't have blinding beam, what is he sitting on with seven cards in hand and only playing a thalid so far? 
Okay, here comes his five drop. He's got he's gotta have something. Uh, this is making me nervous, all this mana open. Well, oh. hmm. I could play one, two, three, four. No, I can't do that. I could just play this guy. Nah, I think we just give him a one one. Him a two two and him a three three. Two, three, four, five. Let's see what he does. I mean, he's got the Vidalcan Dismisser, which... Okay, does he have Blinding Beam here? He's got to have it. He's got to have it. Yeah. Okay, and he's probably got Eternal Witness as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and swing here, because I don't care if he swings back with the Thalid. Hits me for one. And I'm not using its rebel ability or its search ability. And next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can play both of these cards um, if I need to. And these guys won't untap, but basically, if he drops a gigantic creature here, I kind of undo his blinding beam with uh, Bound of Silence. So hopefully, he just plays his dragon here. It's really what I'm hoping for. He plays nothing. Wow, nothing. Uh, yeah, I like this guy. He's just a beater. Again, I'd like to play more, but this guy doesn't get some creatures down soon. He is in trouble. I mean, if he had Eternal Witness, he would have played it. I just can't, can't figure out what he's what he's holding on to. Hmm, no death denied. There's no black. No creatures in this graveyard. Something sweet. Gain eight life. Okay, I'm I'm okay with that. If his play is blinding beam, gain eight life, Thalid, I'm really okay with that. This guy's gonna get sick pretty soon. If we could draw our, draw our uh, Kithin Maker, that'd be pretty awesome. I have no clue what he could have. Absolutely no clue. So much mana. Five, six, seven mana. I don't know. I've almost caught it three minutes on him with giving him a five minute head start. Hmm. What are you thinking about over there, little Thalid? Give him a kiss. Okay, so he can make a dude, which, okay, whatever. Alright, planes. We're going to hold on to this. We've got enough to cast everything in our deck in case we do draw Kith and make her dude. Um, Alright, let's see what trick he's got. I'm going to leave this guy back, actually. He got another blinding beam? That'd be kind of sweet. Yep, okay. I still think we beat here. I really do. Maybe we just beat with the. Uh, yeah, let's beat him with this guy. He makes a dude and whatever. Okay, so he didn't do anything there, which is good. Um, let's see, one, two, three. Now we go ahead and play this because what I'm going to do is go get uh, my unblockable guy. Uh, end of turn and start hitting him for two Bo having bound in silence is really good maybe he's playing around that maybe he's like thinking oh he can go get bound in silence anytime he wants like that's a possibility yeah that I'm not worried about would be good here maybe a flicker wisp yeah Yep. Let's go get. Make sure it's the right dude. Yep. Putting it in play. How gross is that? Oof. Well, that should be game time. I 
just get in there with this. Um, six. So actually, we need to draw another land to be able to, to hold down a, a big threat of his. But oh gosh, I mean, this is going to get sick. There's five, uh, eight, which is 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22 damage, plus one, two, three, four, five, six, 18, 20 to 40 damage, 40 trample damage coming next turn. Should do it. I don't know what he's got to, what he's gonna do here. Um, if he plays something big, I can see just and and I draw land. I can see just take doing bound in silence maybe, and then not swinging with everything. Whew, what kind of mess is this? Is he got a giant wrath? Okay, so he's gonna bounce this guy, which is probably or he might bounce a, a guy with a with a yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Which is fine. So yeah, definitely now um, a turn where we hold back. We can play our dude. We can search up another guy, tap something, and then and then on our turn, bound and silence something else, and then tromp the domains for the win. Hopefully, yeah. We're just gonna uh, yeah. So we're gonna play this guy down. Uh, yep. Tap down his biggest dude, I guess. Tap down his flyer, maybe? I don't know. I'm not going to pre-combat tap it down. If he wants to swing with it, I'll take two. <sighs> yeah, you can go ahead and swing all you want. Yep. So we'll just uh, tap down this guy. Go get some fun things. Uh, let's get a bigger dude. And untap. So we draw another land. Uh, I don't think we need that land. Okay, let's see. So I'm not going to swing all out here. I don't know what he's got. He's got so much land in hand. He's going to do is, okay, he can make a dude. Attack here. I think attack here and attack here. That gives me three creatures and another. Yeah, I'm just going to swing this way and see what he does. That way I still have three dudes here to tap something and to do that. Okay, yep, you're getting a guy. You're gonna block all three. Or you're gonna well you can't block all three. You can block the two five fives. And double block a five five. Play a trick. He does have the one thing that gives all his creatures. Is it all creatures? One one or one two. That's still he'd have to triple block. Alright. Let's see what he's got here. Oh, okay, that's right, he's got the thing there. That's fine. Um think we go ahead and do this now oh. because we still have uh, our uh, bound and silence we can play this makes it a little his blocks a little harder he just doesn't like blow everything up so okay so he's gonna double block there triple block there and take seven uh we want this to be one. Yeah. That's fine. I think I'm okay with that. Because these become one ones at after the turn's over. Yep. So he goes down to thirteen. Uh yeah, if he wants to swing with this guy, he's become the three three. Yeah, I like our chances here. Um so we can't tap anything this turn. He blinding beams is going to be a little rough, but we still have bound in silence to to get whatever his big guy is. Um, the untapping creature thing, which he has two of, which he could be holding, which I, I'm pretty sure it's one that one card that's in his hand. 
But again, if he, if he just attacks, it's just bad for him. I can swing here, 5-5, five, five. 3, 4, 5, 6, dragon. Oh, he's got a bouncer, okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't think I have, yeah, I do have one more guy I can search out with. The uh, guy who gives things negative 2, negative 0, which actually will work really good. Okay, sure. Okay, so at least we, he has one card left. Let's go ahead and get that guy down. Let's get this guy down. And let's swing with a 5 6 maybe. He can block a ton of dudes. I can kill. I can actually make something less. I think I just swing with my 5 6. See what happens. He's going to have to block. Yeah, he has to block with everything basically. If he blocks with these two, that's seven. I can. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna swing with him. And see what happens. And he just takes it. That I'm fine with, because that pretty much just ended the game for him. He saw Trump in my graveyard too. He saw Trump the domains in my graveyard. Yep, you can. I want you to tap with everything. Tackle with all your creatures. Yep. Let's see. Um, I guess he might have the untap thing for for one of his uh. Whatever. Okay. So. Yeah, we're gonna just take this, straight up take it. And a turn, we're gonna tap this guy down. One, two, three, and tap this guy down. Okay, so we're gonna go in, okay, so we have to basically, ah, uh, if we tromp and then he just like taps two dudes, that's gonna really suck, um, but I think we gotta go for it here. Let's go ahead and bound and silence something. Let's, uh, say, I wanna say, mm, I wanna say you can't block. Just in case he's got that trick. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, we're just going to swing all out here. I put that on him. That's seven damage he can stop. So, yeah, I wanted to make sure. I know it was kind of loose tapping him. I could have tapped something else, but if he's going to untap everything anyway, then it's fine. So I think that should be it. This is going to get for five here. Block my biggest thing, six, seven here, and eight, nine here. Yeah. So that is the lesson, kids. Always take Tromp the Domains, especially when people pass foil ones to you and you will win packs of Modern Masters and Qualifier points. Oh, and we got a Spell Snare too. Sweet. Alright, well thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I know those games were long and drawn out. Hopefully you just fast forwarded to the good stuff. And uh, hopefully I can make another video here soon. And uh, we'll see you then.